this is Bob Group with MyFast Consulting. Today I'm going to highlight a new feature within Quebec. So they came out with a localization module within the Quebec release. And this, you know, takes into account some new functionality and also some functionality that's been around called dynamic translations. Which dynamic translations, if you don't know, is to help, you know, translate into your local languages for your different user base. So for instance, if they're looking at work notes and the work notes are written in English, but their preferred language is Spanish, they can click the button and have it translate for them directly on the screen. So with leveraging that, you know, Sarazo has made it easier to translate, you know, catalog items, virtual agent topics, and even the knowledge base. So we'll kind of go through at a high level and take a look at what they've done. So one thing that they have now is this, you know, overall dashboard. So it shows you all the catalog items you have, you know, the different languages you're supporting and the virtual agent topics as well. And then when you scroll down here, you can kind of see, you know, the, the catalog items and what's been translated, what's partially and what's not translated at all. So let's, for you know, example, go into Russian here. And let's, you know, we can see, okay, we have this list of, you know, items that have not been translated at this point. So let's click on this new Manage Entity one. And we can see here, you know, we, we have our catalog item. We have a couple variables down here. And there's this UI action that says Request Translation. So let's go ahead and click that. And we see here, here's, you know, the languages that we have supported right now. And you can see what's not translated currently. So let's just go ahead and click on Russian and hit Submit. So you'll see here, now we've successfully requested for translations to happen. So what that does is it comes over here. And if we take a look at um, localization tasks, so we can see here, you know, there's this new one here for new managed entity. Source language is English. We want to target it for Russian. So if we click into that, you know, you can have this assigned to, you know, a language support group and have it based on what languages they are, you know, expertise in. So what they do here is I go ahead and click the translate button. And instead of having to do everything manually, you can just go here and say, hey, let's, let's machine translate this first. Let's take an initial pass. And this will tie into, you know, different options like IBM, Google Translate, and a couple others that, you know, these are all separate paid subscriptions, but it's super helpful instead of having to manually translate. So, you know, then you can basically come through here and, and confirm, hey, did this translate correctly? You can see here it even goes down into the different variables. So you basically have everything translated for you, you know, a lot quicker and more efficient, and then you're really just doing more validation than you are the actual translation. So you can say, okay, let's go ahead and uh, submit this for approval. And now you'll see here, now we see a verified translations. And you know, so we can have someone go through, okay, okay, I'm verifying, yep, this, this all looks good. Let's go ahead and approve that. And now that catalog item is fully translated. It's in the platform and ready to go. So if anyone that, you know, has a native language of Russian, if they log in and, and pull up that catalog item, it's gonna be automatically translated for them. So that's one of the, you know, cool features and, and how streamlined they've made this process. Now, thinking about knowledge bases, you know, that's another area that's always been kind of a struggle because really you're, you're taking the English version and then you're having to basically duplicate it, you know, for the other languages that you support. So for instance here, you know, we're going to the customer service knowledge base that I have set up. And you can see here, you know, for this knowledge base, we're supporting English, Russian, and Spanish right now. So let's just go down here and let's just say, you know, I need to make an update to this, this article here. Let's go ahead and check it out. And let's just say, you know, we, we made our updates, we did what we need to do and go ahead and publish it back. You can see here it automatically said, hey, translation tasks were created for this article. So let's go ahead and click into those. So you'll see here, you know, because our knowledge base has these other languages selected, it's going to automatically create tasks to say, hey, you know, this article has been updated, we need to translate it. So again, you go, you have your assignment group that's going to support it. You go ahead and click that translate button and it's going to do the same thing, you know, where you go ahead and hit this machine translate. And it's going to take that initial stab at, you know, getting the translations right. Obviously, you know, you need the review and make any tweaks you know, that, that are needed, but then you can go ahead and say, okay, that looks good. Let's create the draft article. And we can go ahead and publish. So now, 
that article is out there in the knowledge base in that in the Russian language and English language. So if the user's native language is Russian, they can easily go through and read the article and not have to you know, translate it on their own time. It, it's already there and ready for them. So another cool feature that you know, Service has really kind of adapted with the dynamic translations. You know, before you could always translate, but now it just makes it that much more streamlined where you can have you know, the system translating it for you. Again, this is using you know, external sources like IBM, Google Translate, et cetera. So one other piece I wanted to you know, kind of quickly show. So we're in the service portal and say we're looking at request and let's pull up this request here. And what I want to do here is I'm going to actually change my language. And let's just say, you know, I'm speaking Russian today. So we'll give us a second to, you know, reload. And then we'll come to the service portal here and let's go ahead and reload it as well. Just bear with me a moment here. Whenever you change languages, it does take a second to, you know, re resurface the form and since we're, we're basically re looking at a different language altogether. All right, and you can see here, you know, what this actually says is translate. So if we click that. You can see here, you know, the current text is in English, but it's translating via IBM and showing me, you know, what it looks like in, in my current language. So, you know, before there wasn't an easy way for if your help desk speaks one language, but you're unusual to speak another and they're trying to communicate back and forth. And this works for, you know, the help desk side of things too, where they can translate text back and forth. So if I wrote something in and say Russian or Spanish or another language, help us kind of translate that to English if they're English speaking. So, you know, super helpful on the fly translations that are, are really kind of changing the way that, you know, you're, you're able to operate within service now. So that's all I have for today. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out at glidepass.com. And also make sure to check out some of our other YouTube videos while you're here. Thank you.